And really quickly here, before we move on to my focus list, I did wanna kind of show uh, right here uh, what I meant by kind of extended from the 50 day moving average. Um, and this is a layout I have for TC2000. Um, if you do use this software, go ahead and uh, click the link down below. You can download this. And if you don't use TC2000, definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, I have a link down below there where you can get um, some money off your kind of first purchase. So uh, go ahead and check out this. This is super um, high quality, super comprehensive program with a ton of customization options. Uh, but getting into the point here, um, this is kind of my 50 day check layout here where down here is plotted the percentage from that 50 day moving average. And I've also got a six and a half percent red line here, which is kind of my warning sign. And then down here is a minus 10% where we could have some reversals. And going back into history, you can see that whenever we get close to the six and a half percent, we might have some type of pullback or at least a pause consolidation that lets that overall moving average catch back up to price. And right now with the composite, we're at five and a half percent. So getting towards that number a little bit. Um, so it's time to be a little bit cautious. We're not super extended yet, but I think there's a really handy way to visualize what being extended from a moving average actually means. And you can see in 2020, uh, we got super extended here for an extended period of time just because of all that power off the bottom, uh, the Fed, all of that input uh, really kind of skewed this. But historically, that 6.5% is pretty good um, as an indicator. Potentially, we might rest or even pull back kind of dramatically uh, from those levels because we are getting a little bit too far too fast from that key moving average. And you can use kind of any moving average. Um, I don't just use this on the composite. I also use it on individual stocks. So for instance, if we do DocuSign, uh, this is the percentage from the 50 day at any given time. And let's actually go ahead and change this to the 10 day, which I find works a little bit better for these growth stocks for visualization purposes. Um, you can see that during the strong move from this cup and handle um, in early, or actually early 2020, it had a really nice run just surfing the 10 day. Let's change this to the 10 day as well, this green line. Um, really staying very consistently about zero to nine, ten percent from that 10 day. And then once you're kind of later in the move, when you see a really big spike, um, for instance, we've got one here and this very obvious one, it might mean it's time to kind of shed some of your position because we might have an extended basing period or a vicious pullback like we saw with DocuSign. And one last way, which I'll show quickly, is you can add the Bollinger Bands. I've got the 10-2 here, so two standard deviations above the 10-day simple. And once it gets above that point here, for instance, on this day, it was well above that range. Um, it's very likely that we will experience some type of rest or consolidation and fall back within this range. Uh, so that's kind of two different ways to identify when something is visually extended, either down here with the percentage from a certain key moving average or the Bollinger Bands in T2000. And with that, let's move on to my focus list.